So, hey guys, Chauzo here. And yeah, this will be a lot cooler team against the Zero Stamp Black Blade. It's a Roger Frank Captain team again, but this time a team has a lot of other interesting stuff going on. It has V3 Shanks Captain, Lupus Horo as sub, and it has the pay to win Makino. This is the Makino you get you got for pull, pulling Shanks crew on their debut. This is the first time I've used them on a team, but she's actually super useful. You'll see what when we get to, f to the second to last stage. But yeah, first turn here. We have two Psy units. We can break the Psy barrier. Change crew has barrier pants, so you can kill the other one. And then we have two quick units to destroy the quick barrier and kill. So yeah, we have to stall a bit now. I'll be farming uh, tandem orbs for Lufusaur special but yeah let's talk a bit about the team so why we three shank so yeah we're making things for this like you have to consider two stages mainly stage one and stage seven like first and final stage like you have to you don't have to but the best case is that you kill all the mobs in stage one turn one and you have to have specific stuff, like normally you need two of three different colors. But you can also get away with using one berry pen unit, and that's why Shanks is so good, since he has berry pen. And he also has a cap that boosts everything, all bait a bit low, but it's, it's workable. 3.75 times attack for everyone. What's also amazing with V3 Shanks for this content is his uh, super type ability. Because he both gives you a full board of matching if you have block warps. And he gives a 3 turns down of setting defense to 0. And both those things are amazing for final stage as you'll see when we get there. See so yeah, why Luffy Zoro? Like we needed a Luffy unit or something like that for Shanks super type. And Luffy Zoro has good synergy with Roger. And... He also gives an ore boost, so Roger can extend it, so it just works well together. Then I just put to Ryan Frankie again to help me with the second to last stage. And Makino, we get to her when we need her. But yeah, the problem with this team are this stage and the stage after, because if we just kill this stage fast, Next stage with all the gorillas is going to be a real pain because we'll have several turns of increased damage taken. And with the attack down we won't be able to kill them as consistently. So after testing I decided that this is the tur uh, turn where I'm going to stall this out. So yeah, I'm going to try and get to pretty low and also try and fish for uh, recovery orbs. Like I played this pretty bad to be honest, I did too much damage too early. And if you do less damage, you can hit more perfects, and you can get the uh, pin shielding and such. So, yeah, I, I didn't play it uh, optimally, but I got good rate of recovery orbs, and I guess the damage wasn't too tight either. I could have run another ship too, but if I can get away with using an easier perfect ship, well, I'll, I'll always do it. So yeah, I should have farmed for more recovery orbs there, but I got one for Shanks anyway, so that's nice. So yeah, I woke up there and realized I need <laughs> recovery orbs. But yeah, we just need to stop one more turn, and we have a good rate of recovery orbs, so it's fine. Yeah, we can take out Prono now. And this is the most annoying part of the rundown, so that's good. Even got more recovery orbs. <laughs> so yeah, obviously as you can see, this is not an optimal team. This is more uh, of a showcase, to showcase a cool team that you can do. But yeah, now we're just going to try and get through this stage as quickly as possible. Uh, 
And yeah, I think we avoid get I think we managed to get through this stage without taking any damage, which is obviously super nice. So yeah, now we're moving on to this stage and as the last team I did, I'll be using the Frankie and Suru to help me here. Suru will be used to remove the burn before it goes out. This stage works as such that the Gorilla applies 5 turns of burn. And when that 5 turns passes, he applies it again. So if you remove the burn just before it runs out, you have a few turns to attack without taking the burn damage. And Frankie is used to delay this guy, so you have a few turns without taking any damage. So yeah, we're just going to wait this out. And yeah, this has a bit of war barn G sadly. Like, we'll be doing a lot of damage this turn. Shank will hit 4th just for the berry pen to get some extra damage through it. So yeah, we do quite a bit more than half, but as you can see, to kill next turn we need a lot of matching orbs, which we got, so we're fine. And this is the turn where we'll be using Makino. So if you don't know, you probably don't know, but Makino gives 2 turns of Psy or beneficial for Cerebro, a totally useless special, except for stuff like this, when you want to avoid getting a bad orb debuff. And since I use Makino now, it won't be applied to me. So yeah, super good. Otherwise, all orbs are badly matching here, which is super annoying. See a Makino coming on clutch, and I like that it's Makino and Shanks on one team, it's pretty cute. And yeah, Shanks special, uh, Shanks super type, and then we use all the specials, so we have uh, two times color affinity for two classes, we have the orb boost for two turns now, 2.75 times, Rogers three turns, three times attack, so this would be a lot of damage. Sadly, the chain lock goes away now, as well as the attack buff, so what we have left is the ore boost for Slasher and Free Spirit and the color affinity for Slasher and Cerebral. And luckily the sewer is both Cerebral and Free Spirit so she will do a ton of damage. So this is the Zero Clutch. So yeah, I think it was a pretty cool team. Hope you enjoyed watching. See you next time.